D.C. leaders are pouring millions of dollars into expanding the city's crime camera program. The plan is to nearly triple the number of them on D.C. streets. But a WUSA 9 investigation revealed just how many of those crime cameras break down. And we found it can take days, weeks, or even months for the city to repair them, potentially robbing detectives of vital clues they need to solve crimes. Here's Chief Investigative Reporter Eric Flack with a story you're only seeing right here on WUSA 9. Massive shooting in Saw Police. DC police continue to look for new ways to combat crime and district leaders are betting millions. Eyes in the sky are part of the solution. History shows they can be, but only if they work right. June 15th, 2023. 22 year old Samaya Gill was shot and killed in the 300 block of 37th Street Southeast. She was eight months pregnant. Just 528 feet away was an MPD crime camera, but records obtained by WUSA 9 reveal one day earlier that camera malfunctioned and it was not brought back online until a day after Samaya's murder. Roughly three and a half months later, Nathaniel Limes and James Cooper Jr. were shot and killed in the 2500 block of 14th Street Northeast. But about five hours before those murders, a repair ticket was opened by D.C. police for a crime camera on that same corner. According to MPD's own records, service was not restored to that crime camera for another seven days. MPD records obtained by WUSA 9 revealed the district's closed circuit crime cameras malfunctioned 508 times over the 17 month period we studied, January 2023 through May of this year. And documents show some of those cameras were out of service for a while. Remember that broken crime camera near the scene of Samaya Gill's murder? MPD records show it malfunctioned nine times over the time period we studied, at one point malfunctioning for eight consecutive days. Some don't work right for even longer than that, like this one at the corner of 16th Street and Levis Streets in Northeast. It malfunctioned for more than four months. Angus Chase lives across the street from a crime camera in Brookland that wasn't working right for almost three months. This crime camera was malfunctioning for 89 straight days last year. What's your reaction to that? There's certainly, you know, a lot of people hanging out at late hours of the night in the summer here, stuff like that. There's a reason they put that crime camera right, here. Right, absolutely. We found at least six different crime camera trailers that were listed as malfunctioning from anywhere from one month to more than three months. MPD would not agree to our repeated request for an interview. In fact, it took them more than two months to answer our questions in a statement. When we finally got it, a spokesperson told us a repair ticket doesn't necessarily indicate a camera outage and that a repair can be put in for something like internet connectivity, which would mean that the people back at headquarters can't necessarily see the camera footage, but a detective could go to the unit and pull the video from the camera itself. But in looking at its own data, DC police told us between October 2022 and October 2023, the department admitted finding 275 different repair tickets for malfunctions where the camera was unable to record. The reasons ranged from power and onboard computer issues to flat out vandalism. DC police declined to answer if they recovered any video from the crime cameras with repair requests at the murder scenes of Nathaniel Limes and James Cooper Jr. and the murder scene of Samaya Gill. They said they did recover video from at least one MPD camera related to each investigation without specifying how close those cameras were to the actual crime scenes. All three murders remain unsolved, and miraculously, Samaya Gill's baby girl survived. She was delivered by emergency C-section after her mother was shot. Eric Flack, WUSA 9. Now, MPD tells us normally a repair ticket is addressed in two to three days, but repairs to mobile trailers with crime cameras may take longer to fix. That can be due to a part shortage or if the trailer is damaged. The department tells us long term power outages due to nearby construction or a DDOT operation can also lengthen repair time.